Yo guys, how's everyone doing? This is your guy Assassin Day. Before I get started with the hand cam, I do want to talk about the best gaming setting in order for you to have the best gaming experience with the four finger claw setup. Let's go. Everything in basic setting is your personal preference. Whatever fits your eyes, whatever makes the game looks better, go ahead. When we get to control setting, make sure to check out our latest World Pro Never Tell You series featuring control setting. We went through details of what control setting you should use for each heroes. When we scroll down to advanced control mode, make sure you have hero lock mode on. This hero lock mode allows you to use your skill very, very accurately on different heroes. Use your auto attack on different heroes accurately. So make sure you have this setting on. And when we come down to the auto upgrade skill level up setting, make sure you turn this off. You do not want the system to auto upgrade your skills when you need to upgrade the right skill for the right game. When we scroll down to the auto purchase setting, auto buy, you want to have this turn off as well because you want to buy items in a customized path, right? You want to make sure you buy the items that fit specific games. Are you playing a mage more like a support? Do you have to buy necklace of durance first? You know, so definitely turn the auto buy off. And if you keep on coming down to fixed position, uh, make sure you turn this on as well because this allows your thumb to stay in the same position. Even if your thumb move a little bit outside of the wheel, it will still just go up like a normal control experience, like a controller experience. If you have fixed position off, what happens is when your thumbs start going up, the movement wheels start going up and then it will just go all over the place. You will feel like you can't control your hero properly. So make sure you have this on. The skill wheel setup, also you have the sensitivity all the way to high. This allows you to drag and slide skills a lot better. When it comes to cast canceling, make sure this is selected to drag to button cancel cast. This way allows a lot of heroes who require sliding abilities to cast your skills better. For example, Ling, you want to drag your skill too. You want to cast your skill too really fast, but you also want to cast your skill too in a specific direction. This requires you to slide your skills really, really fast. With that being said, if you have this on the second option, when you slide your skills, you might end up canceling your cast and then, you know, just dying on the battlefield. So make sure this is select to drag to cancel button. Okay, so you don't accidentally, accidentally cancel your skills. Last but not least, when we come to camera sensitivity, I recommend you knock it up just by a little bit towards the right side, towards the high side. This allows you to drag your screen a lot better, but also not too crazy. You know, you don't want to touch your screen and the screen go all over the place. You want to be able to have a steady control. This allows you to have a better view of the gaming information, but at the same time have a very, very fluid gaming experience. Before we get to the goal of today's content, I want to spread the good gossip for all the boys and men out there. It's grooming time for your balls. That's right, introducing the world's only brand dedicated to men's downstairs business, Manscaped. And yes, I'm not talking about these balls. I'm talking about your balls. Even though I'm not supposed to show any pictures, but we all know what I'm talking about. The kids don't know, but we all know what we're talking about. Manscaped Lawnmower 3.0 is dedicated for your ball's pleasure. Look at this LED light on the lawnmower. I mean, you can use this thing for everything. Hmm. And the thing is waterproof, so it's time to get rid of the funk and shave your junk. When you purchase the Manscaped Perfect Package 3.0, it comes with a legendary lawnmower 3.0, a ball toner, and most importantly, a ball deodorant for the pleasure of your balls and your girlfriend. Let's ask some real customers for their experiences. The Manscaped Perfect Package 3.0 also comes with a comfortable boxer that I'm wearing right now and a stylish travel bag that you can fit everything in perfectly. And of course, your guy Dave got you the discount code and link. Use the link in description now and use the discount code ASSASSIN to get your Perfect Package 3.0 with 20% off. Yeah, that's right, 20 freaking percent off now. To sum it up, I went from feeling like this to feeling like this. When you play too much ML and you're feeling too nerdy and your waist down business is getting itchy, Nani? instead of scratching it, shave it. Ooh. What you're waiting for, do it now. Use a link and get your Manscaped Perfect Package 3.0 today. Your boss will thank me later. Now let's talk about the four finger claw setup and each oh, area that these fingers boss. are responsible for. The left thumb is for movement view so you can move around freely. The right thumb are for all abilities, battle spells, 
active items. The right index finger is for quick buy, buy items, open up shots, and also checking the battle score. You can see the battle score to know exactly how much farm you have and how much your opponent have, the differences. And you can also use it for quick commands. You can see it right here by holding the attack, attack button. The and you can also use it for the chat function for emojis. Once the chat function comes up, you can just hold the chat function and then type your emojis if you want. Most important function for the right index finger that I use the most are actually for swiping the screen. So you can see because the camera sensitivity that we adjusted, we can easily swipe to any area of interest and see what enemy teams are doing, what ability they're using. The left index finger is for anything minimap related. Let's say you want to do a command, tell your teammates to do the Lord. You can open, use the left index finger to open up the minimap and tell your team what, where area, which area you want your team to go. At the same time, so there's also the advanced function you can use with the left index finger. Let's say your team tried to do the turtle, and there's an opponent team hanging out on the other side of the wall, like looking to steal. Right? You want to know what he's doing, what he's waiting for. So basically what you do is you put your left index finger at the turtle, at the interested area. So this way you can fix your camera. You know, this way you can fix your camera where your camera is not really moving. And then you, you basically hit your, hit your control and do your, do your turtle, right? But this way I always know what the enemies are doing. So this is for people who have like really independent fingers, you know, like they know their fingers can do two different things at the same time from the one hand. Like if you can do that, this is going to be an advanced control function for you. An enemy has been slain. Okay, now we move down to the bottom lane. We get the go crab too too late. Coming down to the middle lane, Let's do a little slow. But you get if you if you can't swipe your right finger pretty fast on the on the control over there, you can just use your left finger on the mini map. You can also use left thumb sometimes. It's preferred to use your left index finger. There we go. Second, you're not paying attention. You lost your buff. One minute. Bye bye. Bye bye, my guy. I'll take this to Rofats. Dude, sometimes my buttons don't work. Even though I swipe it multiple times, but I guess. You're just wiping it. See? Look at right side. Ooh, I can feel the delay. This guy. Oh, I'm running inside. Can you consider? He ran out of Ruby, is farming. He's he's forgetting about the job, which is mid lane, defending mid lane. But luckily, we have uh, Boxia who find out, you know. Yeah, was dead. Oh. Turtle coming up in two seconds. Go. Did I have his ultimate first? I'm going for Zap to jump out. This will, hap this, will, this will happen to you when you throw Dave like that next time. He's gonna have a link on me. That's why I'm slowed so much. Dude, Ling, Ling is really easy to kill now. You gotta be much better with your positioning. Like, now we're gonna, we're gonna control to tell him to Lord. Okay, our team's still trolling on top side. Yeah. 
Alright, so even though I'm fighting Lord right here, but I can get the better view on the other side. You know, look at what's happening in the team fight. Nice. One HP. Alright, jump away real quick. Get some energy back from this. You have all anymore. Ah, this is slow. That. Yeah, I definitely feel the delay, the Nerfon Ling. Now if you tower dive, you can use your skills as fluently as before. There we go. Jump out. Getting ready. There we go. Get out of there. One, one more. Easy dubs. Easy dubs. Out of blue, but that will be the game. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn that bell on to all notification bells so you do not miss another incredible video. With that, Assistant Dave signing off. Love you guys. I'll see you guys next time. Bye now. Just for the thrill of it. Nothing kind of it with you. Just the thrill of it.